Good afternoon and welcome to TGIF. Whoopee, it's the end of the week. I'm so happy, happy, happy. I'm happy. Sky, Lian. Um, yeah, TGIF is exactly what it says on the label. The last session of my week. Okay, maybe not the last session of your week, but it's the last session I will run this week. Hi, Aladdin. Thank you very much for 111. Thank you, Raj. Is that Raj or Raja? Now, uh, it's TGIF. If you're on a PC or computer with a good bandwidth and you've got a headset that works and a microphone that works, click for the request, click on the request to, to speak button and I'll probably invite you in for a chit chat, especially if I recognize who you are. So, hello Pratik, nice to see you. Hi, lovely to see you. Well done, you made it. Okay, Pratik, you said, are you asking something to me? You would say, are you asking me something? Uh, see the calendar. <laughs> yeah, it's always the calendar. Well done, Pratik. The most one of the most common things um, I tend to say on the network is you'll need two stars. You need to be active and the calendar, the calendar, the calendar. <laughs> oh, that's what you. Oh, yeah. I hope you don't mind, Pratik. You'll get used to it because, especially in these sessions, when I spot something, I will try to correct you. Okay, not every little itty bitty thing. Um, who wants that? Nobody. But from time to time, I will just give you a correction and I'll hope you remember it. That's the main thing. <laughs> but don't worry about making corrections. I'm not telling you off. I'm just trying to help you improve. Um, so I hope Sky can join us in a minute. Um, and Madam, Raja, you said Madam, please call me Lynn. I know it can be a little difficult culturally, but imagine that by joining me here in the network, you've kind of come to visit me in my house. So you can use my first name. Okay. <laughs> Madam sounds so awful to a Brit like me. It's like, Madam, really? I'm not that old, am I? <laughs> so Lynn is absolutely fine. It does not show any disrespect, honestly. <laughs> Hi, Sky. Well done. She did it. Yay. Now, again, if you want to speak, um, you have to be on a PC or computer. You can listen and interact on your mobile phone, on your, on your um, tablet, pretty much anything that can connect to the internet. Maybe in the future, your washing machine, your, your fridge, <laughs> that will all work. You can't join the session speaking without being on a good PC laptop with a good bandwidth connection. And if you want to know why, watch today's recording. It's not gone live yet, but it will go live today. Today's recording of Spotlight. Uh, we ran a session this morning with Aladdin and it explains a lot about what we're doing here and why we're doing it on Webinar Jam now. Okay. Hi, Julia. Nice to see you. But nobody's putting their hands up. It's really sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. Nobody wants to speak to me. Are you going to make me speak for an hour? Okay. If you want me to speak for an hour, I'm going to start singing. <laughs> Anyhow, if this is your first time in live chat, um, then in the sort of webinar jam, I should say, not live chat, scrub that, in webinar jam, then you've got a little bit of a learning curve. Okay. It's streaming technology. And yeah, at the moment, don't, don't start speaking to me because I won't be able to hear you unless you click the request to speak button. Okay, Aladdin's in. Excellent. Goody, goody. I had a horrible feeling you might be working, Aladdin. I was like, no way, not on a Friday. Okay, I'm going to close my Skype down now because I can't really keep Skype open and Webinar Jam open. Um, I've got reasonable bandwidth, but it won't cope with that. <laughs> Now, this is your chance. Uh, if you have any 
burning questions about sessions or about the forum, this is your chance to ask them. And if I can, I will try to answer you. Um, or we can just chat about anything in particular. Or you can make requests about future sessions. Here comes Aladdin. Hi, Aladdin. Can you hear me? Can I hear you? Yes, I can hear you. And I can hear you. Hello, Aladdin. Hello. You must be sick of talking to me today. <laughs> Um, Mohit and Shiny just had a, a, a two-on-one session on with me. It really rocked. <laughs> Sorry, Aladdin, I was talking. How, uh, say again? It's a, a rock hour on uh, on English radio now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm well, don't bang, your head. <laughs> don't bang your head too much or your headset will <laughs> drop off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Pratik has a question. Um now, Pratik, I'm just going to send you a little message. Okay. Um, I want you to reply to me. I will, oh, by the way, I will switch on. Um, you can send private messages now, guys, because I know sometimes you don't want to ask a question live to everybody. If you send a private message, uh, only the people in the call will see it. Okay. So, Pratik, um, I'm going to ask you a question you need to answer before you can come into the room. Okay, so answer my question, Pratik. Thank you. <laughs> now, in answer to your question, Pratik, and well done, you figured out how to ask a question. That is really cool. It's much easier, guys, if you ask a question to mark it as a question. If you notice in chat, Pratik's question has a question mark next to it. And that means it kind of shows up um, because if people start chatting quite a lot, it can be very difficult to follow every single message. Uh, but the questions will kind of shine out if you like. Um, Pratik, TGIF. I'm going to let Aladdin answer. Aladdin, what is TGIF? I wrote it down. It sounds Thank you. Where is it? Oh, there you are. Thank God. <laughs> it's not that. I'm joking. <laughs> Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't want to use the G word, if you don't want to use it in that way, you can also say, thank goodness it's Friday. Okay. Or thank Gandalf it's Friday. <laughs> It's basically, yeah. Pratik, it is the end of the week. Okay, the end of my working week. I know some of you are still working. I know some of you, your weekend's ending. Not my problem, okay? <laughs> it's the end of my working week. So it's called TGIF. No topic, okay? No agenda as such, unless there's something specific being asked by somebody in the, in the past, and I've arranged it, in which case it will be on the calendar. If there's a special presentation or something, it will show on the calendar. This week, nobody asked for anything. Nobody gets anything. You just get me and you get Aladdin. And fingers crossed, we get Pratik as well. So Pratik, I'm inviting you in. What you need to do is accept it. You will need the Webinar Jam app on your browser, preferably Chrome. Okay, then you have to go through the audio test. Uh, and it's only the audio test. Don't worry about your video or camera. We don't use that. Um, but audio test, just say hello Not and you should yet. hear your own voice. Yeah? Not yet. Well, yes, I noticed, <laughs> I meant to ask you in this morning's spotlight session, what's all that about <laughs> webcams? Go on, Aladdin, what are you talking about? Using a webcam, it's part of uh, because we don't want to, for example, recording our voices only. This is kind of uh, so to show people some kind of things we are doing here. It's good, like we said, like we described with Zoom. It's uh, to have this body language and concentrate about what we are talking about. So it's not like I, I am doing something else. I'm not concentrated, but I'm I'm here. I'm with you. Uh, another things uh that's what I want to use camera for it it's to show people uh, some kind of stuff that for example repairing stuff that's what I'm going to use the camera I'm not sitting on in front of camera all the time it's only for for showing something that I am doing it's like uh, like demonstrating like, or something, yeah. Yeah. 
yes. like demonstrating something, yeah? Or repairing stuff, or how it looks like. Repairing this stuff? Is this lap laptop wow. how, how it looks pairs? like from inside. <laughs> Rather than the, fic the pictures or the photos that we've taken on it, how it works. So it's okay. part of how it works. <laughs> Excellent. Sounds good. I mean, I'm fine. It's up to you. But, you know, guys, don't expect to see me on a webcam anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's purely if you are a presenter and um, people who are very active on the forum and who come to sessions, you can in the future ask to present something. We've done it before. We can do it again. I love it because it means I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I'm so lazy. I can sit back and relax and maybe give you some feedback. That's so easy for me. So yeah, if you've got something you want to present, let me know. I can, I'll can. i let anybody hijack a session. I'm quite, quite okay with that. <laughs> Um, I'm just sending Pratik a private message. Um, okay. Okay, so, uh, Raja, you said, can I interrupt you? Okay, what would you like to say? <laughs> now, you won't be able to speak unless you come into the call. And to come into the call, you need to be on a PC or laptop, using a Chrome browser, preferably. And this uh, and raise your hand. Raise your hand. And you raise your hand by clicking the little button at the top that says "Request to Speak." Yes. Okay. When I say when I say raise your hand, um, it's because you literally get a little hand next to your name, little red hand, and then I know you want to speak. But it's the "Request to Speak" button. Only laptops and PCs, please. Uh, otherwise, you'll get very frustrated because you're tablet your mobile phone will not work and it does work the first time you join you will be given um, instructions to download an app to attend the session just to listen and to text chat with us and ask questions um, and if you don't want to speak that's where you belong okay just attending um, then you don't need any application you just join us and it works and you can listen to us and you can ask questions. You can go and make a cup of tea. We won't know. <laughs> you see, that's what you're letting yourself in for, Aladdin. If you use your webcam, people will know. They will know if you go stand up, go and make a cup of yeah. tea. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> because some of them, some of you them, people are doing that. I don't need to, to name people, but it's, some of them brushing their teeth while we are on the sessions. And when I am asking them, oh, we are brushing our teeth now. It's, it's are you joking with them? They're brushing their teeth. <laughs> Guys, be honest now. Is anybody on this, in this session brushing their teeth? <laughs> I can promise you, I have already brushed my teeth before. Even the morning <laughs> session, I have already brushed my teeth. And uh, somebody once asked me if I do these sessions uh, from bed in the early morning. I don't. I get up. I'm fully dressed. I'm in the office, sitting in my office chair at my desk. I'm very well I'm, um, I'm organized like too. that. <laughs> 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 okay, Raja. Raja um, Pratik hasn't managed to join us yet. Um, so, Raja, let me just take you through the process. This is your first time, I think. Now, on Friday, I'm pretty relaxed about who comes and speaks with us. So, um, sometimes in sessions, you have to have um, been more active on the forum. I have to have got to know you a bit or you've taken part in the vocabulary challenge, that kind of thing. Um, but on Friday, you kind of get almost a passport um to just join me whatever <laughs> however if you join me and you don't say anything i'll just kick you back into the attendees room to make room for somebody else sorry but i will <laughs> so make sure you've got something to say yeah. okay? we have limit here yeah exactly there is a room limit for people to speak so you need to want to really want to speak with us um, otherwise you might as well just text chat Okay. And something I've noticed on Skype, even lots of people in the room and only three or four people willing to speak. Lots of people say, Oh, my mic's not working. Or yeah, uh, can I just stuff. listen today? Yeah. I'm at work. <laughs> so Raja, we're going to invite you in.
Julia's asking which topic, we'd, what topics have you got in mind? Which one would you like to choose? <laughs> it's TGIF. That is the topic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but Julia, if you have any questions, uh, if you have suggestions about a future topic, I can do topics. <laughs> then this is the session to come to. Or if something's not working for you, or you've got a question from the forum, anything network related, okay, not technology related, uh, that's Aladdin's job on a Monday. <laughs> but anything network related, new sessions, has everybody noticed Marion is back doing sessions? Check the calendar if you haven't noticed. And she okay. will be. <laughs> You're in, oh, you're in a MacBook. Oh, I'm sorry, Pratik. Ooh, I've never, I don't you know. Can you can use Chrome. You can use Chrome. Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't realize, Pratik, when I said laptop, I kind of mean um, Windows, but I think it will work in a, a MacBook. Let me just have a look. Yes, it's work. Oh, does it? But you, but you have work from Chrome. It's, it's Chrome. It's working on all platforms. So, if you are uh, download Chrome, if you are not, have it on your MacBook and try to join to us from it. Okay, Pratik, what I'll do is I'll return you as an attendee. And then if you raise your hand again, okay, then we can see if it works. Okay. Sorry, I hadn't realized. I'll make sure in the future I say what kind of laptop, what kind of PC. Because, of course, there is more than one. You might even be on Linux, but I think it works on Linux, doesn't it, Aladdin? Yes, it's Linux? online. Linux. It's online. It's not. It's not. Uh, yes, it's not related with with your operating system. It's relating with which browser do you have. So it's it's a it's a good browser to use here. It's Chrome, Google Chrome. <laughs> I will add that to the instructions I give to people before they join us. So I'm just hoping Raja is now also using. Uh, Chrome and a Windows PC. <laughs> yeah, I guess, what is the operating system on a Mac? It is a completely different one, isn't it? They've got their own operating it's system, it's haven't OX. they? It's Macintosh, it's OX. It's... Oryx? Not Oryx. Macintosh OS. I know it's got a name. X. Yes, is it? Mac Macintosh. Oh, X. Mac OS X. Oh my goodness, mm. that's a mouthful. Mac OS X. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's um, yeah, not something I'm familiar with. The last time I had a Macintosh, oh, I'd, it was when I was in the UK. So it's over 15 years ago, and they've changed a lot since then. But they're a little bit like Dyson for me. Dyson's expensive, Macintosh are expensive. We were talking about Dyson in Kitely today, talking about manufacturing and factories and patents. It was very fascinating. <laughs> Poor Shiny and Mohit. Um, they did very well. They stayed for the whole session. <laughs> but yeah, it was all about that. Maxiera. Ah, thank you, Pratik. Okay. <laughs> okay, so fingers crossed we can get Raja and Pratik in to the call. Now, has anybody got a question they would like to type up? Because you don't have to. You don't have to be in the call to ask a question. Just type your question up. And if you haven't said hello already, um, I don't think I've seen Joy Joy. Are you in the room? Be warned, I do know who's in the room. Ah, Joy Joy, there you are. Yay, hello, hello. I'll send you a private hello because I didn't notice your hello earlier. Hello, welcome to the room. <laughs> welcome to the uh, webinar jam. Now, if this is your first time, then don't panic. Hopefully you can hear me. And it's the same old thing um, from the other sessions. If you can hear me, type 111. If you can't hear me, 222, 1212. The only thing that changes is the microphone thing, because to speak, you need to click the request to speak button. And then you have to go through all jiggery pokery. And then hopefully you get in to talk with us. 
Thank you, Pratik. Thank you, Raja. <laughs> What's that? OSX 10.11 El Capitan? Aladdin? Yes, Why are you speaking lot. Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> El Capitan. It's, they, they named things like that on, uh, on Macintosh. And this is, uh, I think, before the last one. Because there is a Maverick. El Capitan. I think it's the name of mountain there. Okay, it's, cool. I mean, it's, it's lots of uh, names. They call it on o OS X. Okay, okay. Um, I guess it's like Android. I like the Android operating system. Yes, yeah, like system. Android. Yeah, yeah Android <laughs> operating systems are really great. What's it at the moment? New <laughs> Yeah. We've <laughs> had KitKat. Does anybody know uh, the Android operating system names to date. I think we're currently on Nougar, I think. The last one? I, I thought it was great. I really did. I know KitKat. I know uh, Marshmallow. Marshmallow, uh, yeah. And between yeah. KitKat and Marshmallow, because it goes up in... I mean, it's like the A to Z of sweeties, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> So we had Kit Kat, then there was Jay, Jelly Bean, I think. Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean, yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Marshmallow. Then there was Lollipop. And then there was, I don't think it lasted very well, Ice Cream Sandwich. I think it really did just go about four or five weeks, too many bugs, and they went straight on to, um, I think then it was something like... Um, Gingerbread, maybe? I think they've had donut. Froyo was one, which is short for frozen yogurt. We did a session on that, Froyo. Um, cupcake was one as well. But I think they're up to Nougat now. Um, they have Marshmallow, yeah, that was the next one. And then this one is, I think Android 7 is Nougat. But one of my laptops doesn't actually update any longer. Uh, it's too old, so... That's the one, Andro. Now, strangely, I usually say nugget, uh, but people get confused. So I'm using the French pronunciation nougat. <laughs> but as a Brit, I tend to say I like nugget, but uh, most people don't know what I'm talking about then. Ah, that's right. It started all with apple pie. Apple pie was the first one. That's a great um, question, by the way. If you do a pub quiz or if you do an online quiz, uh, it's a good question to um, ask. Get somebody to name as many Android operators. It's like the Seven Dwarfs and uh, Santa Claus's reindeer. You know, can you name as many operating systems of Android as you can? <laughs> Android version. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you. Let's ask... Um, Let's ask Wiki. Yay. I send you the link for version. Oh, it says codename none for version one. But the one I'm looking at said Apple Pie. Apple Maybe Pie. Maybe they're retrospectively um, making it cooler than it was. Like it, We started with Android One and then we got bored and decided to ta start calling them things like Cupcake and Jelly Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now I've got a question here from Aladdin. Strangely, what what did I say about Marco, Aladdin? <laughs> I don't know. What did I say? Did uh, I say you said it? Marco. And I'm not. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's no, what I I Mo hear you no. said Marco and Mohit. China. I'm, I'm, Mohit and Shiny. Mohit, Mohit, Mohit and China. Okay. Yeah, they were in Kitely with me earlier, mm -hmm. and it was just them two. In and um, we met up in the labs. And we went to the um, factory floor because we were talking about the, um, not this week's, but last week's vocabulary challenge. Because uh, everybody seemed to struggle with the words. Uh, and it's quite special. Well, it's not that specialist if you know anything about manufacturing or if you know how things are made. Um, and in the UK at school, we go on school trips and quite often, you know, you'll be taken to a factory. And so you, you kind of learn the words to do with production techniques and um, uh, 
conveyor belts and, you know, you, you learn them at school level. Uh, but I guess they're not often taught in English um, lessons unless you're doing a specific like English for special purposes, manufacturing and technology or something. So I thought it would be a good way to introduce that particular and we were talking about the history of factories and the industrial revolution and stuff, but there was only them too. So it was quite intense. Normally there's four or five people and it's you know, a little bit more relaxed, but it was like, right, shiny, now what? And then, oh, okay, Mohit, what do you think? And I think it was a bit much. <laughs> but that's what happens if you end up being the only one in a session. It gets very intense and tiring. Um, you know, people want to win the radio game and get a one-on-one -on -one session most people who win it by the end of the hour they're absolutely exhausted because there's no there's no escape you're it you know you have to talk to me and it is more like a lesson or you know if we're doing reading you do all the reading I don't do it so it gets quite tiring Aladdin, you've been in a single session you've been in you won the uh, radio competition did you find it yeah. tiring which one? <laughs> well, I know any of them. Any, the first one. Can yeah. you remember the, the first, first one? The first one is good, yeah. yes. Yes, get the theme. It's, it's very easy and good. <laughs> so you can get the theme easily from the songs, and that's a competition. That's good. So, but read me, re, read the, what is that? RMR. <laughs> Riddle me, re. <laughs> yes, read me. Riddle me re, right? Riddle me, Riddle me re. re, yeah. Yeah. F I, I can't compete with this one. I can't. I, every time I'm trying to hardly to hear what, what are you saying? You say it once and this is not enough for me, at least. I'm not this good at listening. Okay, would it help to, if to I hear it. it? Well, no, I mean... In all honesty, I at need least, to say it twice. At least twice. I, I don't know who <laughs> says that. It's easy. That's I want. <laughs> but it you, said, plan, you can plan. You, you can plan Zoom for this one. And, yeah, and absolutely. Is <laughs> it is. It's true. About it. So she every time I'm trying, yeah. Uh, every time I'm trying to get involved with it, so it's very hard. Even if I'm could. Uh, because I'm usually listening to the radio while I'm working or while I'm doing another stuff. So when I hear your voice, I go back, I go fast as I can to uh, to increase the volume, to hear the your the sentence very, yes, the clue. Yeah, we say we hear the clue. Very yeah. clear. The clue, the clue is very clear. And when I do some kind of thing because I am open lots of things in lots of windows in front of me. So where is where is this where is the recording? Oh, okay, where is the the media player or the the the, the players that I am uh, listening to the radio from it? So when I am trying to reach to it, until doing those kind of things, you said good luck. So oh, good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I hear good luck. Okay, good no, no, luck. I I do, not, I do not say good luck. I go, good, good luck. luck. <laughs> okay. Um, if it would be of help, it's, I can double up the yeah, At repeat. least double up. Okay. Yeah, twice is enough, though. <laughs> we want people to keep listening to the radio, not, not tune out because they're fed up of hearing my voice. And remember, it is played three times a day. It's like yeah. in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. But only but if once, you, if I am, yeah. if I am. Whilst you're at work, bit, probably yeah. only once. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, next, next um, guess. No, this is guess the theme this week. Uh, so next riddle me re. I'll do what I used to do and have it play twice. And but I'll get this I'll week. Get uh, guess the theme. It's guess the theme this week. Yeah. Did you not know? Yeah. I did no. put a notification in. It was very funny because. Um, if you look at the sticky notice on the top, it does say uh, to save April's bladder. 
um, I'll just confirm it is guess the theme this yeah. week because both April and Zom had tuned in at seven o'clock on Monday. I had announced on Tuesday, I had announced it was a guess the theme, but they were waiting for the clue. <laughs> and I, and they, April didn't dare go to the toilet because she was waiting for the clue. Sorry, April, but it's true. You know, it's true. And it's all on, it's all on the thread of the, of the uh, radio station. And talking of radio stations, Pratik's got a question. Um, I think English radio is not working here in India. Yeah, the platform um, that English radio is based on is called Radionomy. And it used to be available everywhere across the world. I mean, there were no restrictions. And slowly they kind of put in, um, it's either blocked or they've geo-blocked it themselves because they don't get enough revenue from that area. It's a pain it really is because we need as many listeners as we can get to continue but yes you can use um proxy and um there is a thread in the forum because the, the radio isn't part of the network as such uh but the network kind of supports it uh it's the sponsor if you like Sponsored by Learn English Network. Um, and if you join the English radio group, you'll find some information on how to um, be able to listen, okay? How to get around any restrictions, etc. You'll also find out how to join the reading challenge, okay? And by the way, um, Aladdin, I noticed we've got Tora Lip and Rupsal. And who else is it reading? But you, I don't think you mentioned Marco, did you? This week? Yeah, you got... Oh, you have got it, yeah. Ropsal, yeah. Rima, Toralip and Monique. Mark it was, Remy, I think yeah. it, was on the, it was on the actual radio in the thread, and I was like, oh, where's Marco's recording? Because I know he's done one. Yeah, um, it exists. It, it is there, okay. I just haven't yeah. seen it yet, because I, I try to listen to them myself, of course. <laughs> yeah. This week, I, I put them in, uh, in a different way, yeah, because it's... I put them like a podcast, I think, or promo. I'm, I'm not sure. Let me see. Yeah, I know they appear next to the normal um, yeah, guys. Sorry, um, Radionomy is uh, it's very clever software where we can put in our mu It's my music, actually. And it's more of a personal project than anything. But I always wanted to share my music. <laughs> But, you know, you can't set up a radio station in the world as it is today. And radio, no, radio on me um, enable that. So if you've always wanted to be a DJ, you can, you know, you can set up your own radio station. The problem is, after a while, they insist that you have, uh, I think it's 150 hours a day listening. Now, you'd think with 16,000 members in the forum, that would be easy peasy, but it isn't. <laughs> I guess people are busy and there's so many radio stations out there. However, as an incentive for you to tune in to English radio and listen, if you play the games on English radio and there's nowhere else that we do games like this, if you win, if you get the right answer, you go into a draw every week, there's a draw, and the winner gets to book a single one-on-one -on -one session with me for an hour on any platform, Skype even. I'll go into Skype uh, for the English radio se session. So if you've always thought, oh, I wish I could have a session with Lynn, then get listening to English radio and have a go, okay? Julia, in Ukraine, English radio, I listen every day. Yay! I wondered who was in the Ukraine. <laughs> I thought it might be Bob, actually. I thought it might be Bob. Uh, we get this sort of, we don't know who or any internet numbers or anything. It's just they give you a little map of the country uh, think, uh, that are uh, listening. Okay. I think she is not mentioned about our English. <laughs> she said only. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put the link up then. I'm going to do some shameful promotion. I don't do marketing and promotion. So that's our English radio. <laughs> But we do get people from Ukraine, and I always thought it was Bob, because uh, I know Bob listens, but he doesn't listen enough. He needs to listen every day. 24 hours. Don't, don't switch it off. Just leave it running, okay?
Can you hear me? Anyone? Yeah. Oh, hello. Sorry, oh, Aladdin. Yes. yes, I can hear you. I was just looking yeah. at English radio. I'm sorry. I've got new <laughs> model army playing. <laughs> Okay, I was just um, going to say, um, if it's blocked in your country, I very much doubt it's your government blocking it or anything to do with politics or anything like that. It's actually down to copyright, uh, copyright issues. So it is one of those things that, yeah, you just have to find a way around uh, if you're keen. Luckily, if you do win the competition, then um, because we can do join me or Skype or Webinar Jam or in Kitely or in Second Life even, I don't mind. Um, the session should be, yeah, should run, okay? <laughs> okay, now, Raja, um, okay, Raja, you've got a little bit of a connection problem. Oh, no, lots of two two twos. Oh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have switched English radio on. <laughs> you know what I was talking about bandwidth earlier? Aladdin yeah. saying, make sure you don't push your bandwidth. I think I just pushed my bandwidth, everybody. <laughs> it's working with Tor browser. Oh, I've never gone on to Tor. It's all dark netty to me, that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And there's also ways around it with um, DNS, um, mooching on Google DNS, etc. There are ways around these things. And I'm a great believer of if somebody builds a wall, it is your job as a human being to try and dig under it or climb over it, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Julia. Have a look at the link I gave earlier. Um, so other people find this and they have found ways around it, okay? Because the nice thing is, especially if you get involved, okay, uh, join the English radio group anyway, uh, and you can do the news roundup reading, and then Aladdin edits it and it goes actually onto the radio. It's not just about us, it's about you guys. Um, we also get jokes occasionally, but unfortunately the, the sound quality of most of the jokes that have been sent, and I can't clean them up enough to put them on the radio, but I still appreciate yeah, getting where, the where jokes. They, where do they send those jokes? Because I'm, I want to add them, but it's... How did you receive those jokes? They're on speaker. On speakers, but they didn't put it, put them on the forum, right? No. Mm -hmm. No, and and sometimes the quality. Um, there's been some sent to. Uh, let me have a look. I did. I downloaded some. I got some through mail. Uh, into my, I don't know how they got my email address, but they sent me them in email. And unfortunately, the sound quality was. Uh, Khalid did a couple, and I love Khalid, but. Honestly, he really needs a better computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, so keen, but I was like, oh, I don't think I can broadcast that because people would think, what? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Ah, thank you, people Alan. Said thank that you. Before. <laughs> yes, I remember someone who said that on the forum and the English radio page. I'm not. I can't remember her name, but she said, "Oh, I can't, I cannot understand any word from what we are, what the people saying here." <laughs> but we got it. Yeah, I can't remember. But what, that's great. Um, yeah. I know that people, when they're learning, they think they've got to listen to really clear, well pronounced English, but. The number of people who speak really clearly and pronounce everything perfectly is so rare. It's much better to yeah. listen to people who can't speak very well <laughs> and work yeah. out what they're Help. trying to say. <laughs> really, it's help, yes. Oh, it does. And and I know this works because lovely guy, um, he's no longer active in the network, but that's what happens. He got his um he got his exams, he passed them, he got his Erasmus. Uh, and he went traveling and everything else. He's still kind of in contact, but not active on the network. And um, he actually found that at his college, amongst all the English speakers, um, and this is how he got onto the Erasmus program, he was the only person who could understand people from other countries other places, that weren't English speaking yes. countries, <laughs> yeah, like France and Spain and Italy. And people were like, how can you understand what they're saying? And he went, I, 
go to the Learn English Network and I speak with people from around the world. <laughs> Silence again. Oh, Julia, we are speaking. We are speaking. It might be your connection. Okay. Okay, so Pratik has put his hand up again. Let's, I'm going to cross my fingers, Pratik. Okay, it'd be great if we could get you in to, uh, to listen to you rather than me talking. I've been talking all day. <laughs> okay, I'm inviting you in now, Pratik. And in all honesty, I do say sometimes to people who join the network and come to the sessions, we, we help you learn English here. We also help you learn patience, okay? <laughs> If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Don't give up. <laughs> oh, silence, English radio. It might be geo-blocked. I'm going to go and have a look at the English radio. Oh, no, I'd better not. The more things I open, the more likely it is that I'll crash or I'll my voice will drop. Um, so best not. It's one reason we don't use... Um, the webinar camera or any webcams. I'm so sorry if you came into the session and thought you'd see me, but you won't. <laughs> You'll just see a little blue, blue, red, white, and blue dot, I'm afraid. <laughs> but it, like, it looks like you might see Aladdin one of these days. He's going to get very brave. No. You'll be life blogging before you know it, you know. You'll be vlogging, <laughs> vlogging. Not vlogging. It's, it's hard <laughs> to be vlogging. It's not how to be vlogging, it's hard. It's, I, I see them, I'm watching them, but it's, they are doing some kind of hard work there. You what do you mean by, yeah, no, I'm just like, what do you mean by hard work? Because they're editing the videos, they're recording themselves. I'm, I'm talking about vloggers now. <laughs> and uh, video vloggers, they recording themselves, doing things, and they editing this uh, video. And it's daily videos, you know. It's hard. <laughs> I guess it's hard if you want it to be perfect. But they, they're enjoying it. Yeah, they're enjoying yeah. doing it. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. And, and it's hard if you want it to be perfect and you want to use After Effects and you want to have transition screens and everything. Mm -hmm. I think if you just turn your camera on and then <laughs> see it on YouTube, it's easy. <laughs> yes, that's easy. Which, to be honest, is kind of what we do on the network doing, now. Um, in the past, I did lots of, I tried recording stuff in tightly and in second life uh, i tried recording we did the we did scenes from jane eyre once yeah. um and i really did try to get the camera angles right and everything and it's it is tough that is tough and it takes up so much time i realized i wasn't doing what i want to do which is help people learn english yeah. i was starting to worry about frame rates and <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. and you trying to to put things uh, yes, as much as you can with this 10 minutes or 20 minutes, not one hour. One hour is very long. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, on it, yeah. <laughs> that's an internet, that's an internet perspective. I mean, I have no problem with watching things for an hour, an hour and a half, two hours. Um, and I think that's when I when we were talking this morning and I said we should do an introduction video for when people come to YouTube. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say in that video, these are not five minute clips. <laughs> <laughs> Get a cup of tea, find a comfy chair, turn it on, relax, listen. It's not going to last five minutes. <laughs> this is slow learning. <laughs> Hello, Namiri. Thank you. It's nice to be back. It is nice to be back. Although I am waiting for summer to start, spring to start. I mean, we're in March, guys. It's March and it's still winter here. I don't know what it's like where you are, but it's pretty miserable here. Namiri, in case you've forgotten, don't forget, if you want to speak, um, it's not working for Pratik or Raja at the moment. I don't know why, but you can click request to speak button. 
and we will invite you in. It's Friday. It'd be great to get some more people in, but you can see it is working because Aladdin's here and he's here as an attendee, not as a presenter. Um, if you notice, actually, when you look at the screen here, you'll see that you've got my avatar is the red, white and blue one. And Aladdin's is like a little head. And that means Aladdin's not actually a presenter here. If you come to his session on Monday, then you'll see he'll have the avatar. You only get the avatar if you have the presenter link. Um, so if April or Shiny had come today, because they sometimes join us, um, they again would only just have the little heads showing. Now, um, any announcements? Let me think. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, yes, I just wanted to say that Larry, Larry the Zebra, um, has left the forum, which is very sad, very sad, because he was great. But, uh, Larry, if you're listening, we miss you. Come back. No, but he has left the forum. Now, it says deleted user instead of his posts. Uh, so he's let us keep the content on the forum. Um, if you see deleted user, it's not a user. I noticed somebody sent. Um, why, why he why he did deleted his? Why did he want to leave? If he just felt it wasn't. No, I, I, I'm not. I'm not uh, asking about. But this is his opinion. But why it's deleted user? Oh, that's just the standard. That's the standard. Um, if you remove somebody's account. And you don't delete all the posts. If you don't delete mm -hmm. all the um, messages, then the account stays as deleted user. Okay. Um, it was quite funny because some people, I mean, people come and go. It's fine. And if they yeah. ask me to delete their account or some people come, never post anything. And if I find that two years later, they last came in May 2014 and they never post, I will delete the account. And then they become this deleted user, okay? Um, but um, I, you'll only see them if they have posts, and then I keep the posts to keep the threads going. Um, but I'm not going to delete your accounts, guys, if you haven't posted for six months, but I will delete them if you haven't posted for two years. <laughs> I said, I don't know if you're alive or not. And if you were very active in the past i'll probably send you a message and i'll give you like two three weeks to reply but then if you don't reply i will delete the account um it's not me being mean it's just me thinking well you know let's get make room for somebody else okay so namiri did you have a question did you come today with something you wanted to say or ask so I was telling about Larry. Yeah, Larry just felt that the forum was um, not quite how he'd like it to be. Okay, so we had a nice long conversation. I saw, I tried to see if I could do anything that would make him stay. Didn't work, so um, he decided to leave. But he very kindly let us keep the content. So um, all those corrections that he made were still there. If anybody knows a Larry the Zebra out there, uh, or somebody like him, see if you can leave some breadcrumbs and get him into the forum, because it was so nice to have somebody who was also willing to do corrections. It was great. I mean, Gemma and Marion and Natasha and I, we do our best, uh, but, you know, we're only, we're only four. It's a lot of, a lot of comments to correct. And Frank <laughs> does a fantastic job. Yeah. Don't forget, just because you're also a learner and not a native speaker doesn't mean you can't give corrections or feedback. You know, as long as you do it gently and kindly, um, then if you see something and you think it's wrong, let somebody know. And if you're not sure, ask me. Just send me a private message with the link and I'll go and check it out. You know, I do take notice of these things, but I can't check every single um, comment in the forum. I tried once. It doesn't work. <laughs> Not if I want a life as well. Um, and of course, if you are missing Larry and you enjoyed the corrections, just pop along to the Let's Practice. Let's Practice and Learn. And there's something called Your Writing. And that's literally what it is. And that's where we gather. If you want, um, don't put your dissertation up 
or your report, your business report or something like that. But, you know, short um, bits of any language, uh, English that you've written yourself, we will look at them and we'll give you feedback and sometimes word for word correction. OK. And also there is a group called the Polyglots group. OK. If you don't yeah. know what I mean by group. Let, let me ask you about this group. Mm. Oh, and then, because yeah. we didn't discover it yet before. We don't talk about this group before. So No, this was set up for Larry. I'll have to be <laughs> honest. Yeah, um, unfortunately, I didn't know him until... He was leaving. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> when Zoom said, oh, Larry's... Go, uh, yes, it's leaving us. Oh, I, I, I see. I see her. I, I know his avatar because it's, it's active on the forum. But I'm, I'm not really. You hadn't interacted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not active. Okay. Yet. Well, well, <laughs> let me do a bit of screen sharing. This is. It's always nice if I do a bit of screen sharing because um, it gives me something. Okay, sorry about that. Wrong screen share. Uh, let me screen share because then I can put it on the video recording. So bear with me. I'll disappear for a second. Okay. With groups. Okay. It's up here. Okay, so yeah. when you look at the forum, you've got the ability to look at your at the activity, the best posts. Yeah. Recent discussions, anything like that's happened in the last day. Okay. And then you've got the categories. Now I moved the categories around a bit. Uh, and if you notice, you'll know the new members. You'll all have introduced yourself there. And then I moved chit chats down and let's practice and learn up. Just because Larry said, <laughs> see, I tried to make him happy. Um, that, you know, it was a bit confusing for, people who were beginners. Okay, so I thought, okay, fair enough. Um, so that's there and so it goes from new members to sort of beginners to the games and then chit chat, which is much more advanced. Um, but if you're looking for corrections, there's a couple of places you're guaranteed corrections. In the games, if you go to uh, the word game and it's called the question game, okay, then Let's have a look, make sure there's nothing inappropriate there. <laughs> Be good. Okay. You'll then find when you write your question, and it's always got to be a question, no answers allowed in the question game. You have to answer every question with a question. It trains you to become a great politician. And then you do get corrections. Okay. You'll get correction from Frank. Okay, and you'll get corrections from me. And sometimes I correct Frank's corrections. So it's always worth going back to this check. Well, you know, it's part of his learning strategy is to give the help and get my help in return, which is great. Yeah, that's okay. great. So that's, I think, the simplest, one of the simplest uh, ways of getting corrections, the question game. The next one you might like to try is the weather. Now, if you're going to talk to Brits ever. The weather is the topic. Uh, but what you're going to look at is what's it doing outside. Go to the weather category. What's it doing outside? Okay. And then every week, okay, I'll go in and let's see, there's April's uh, post last week. Terrible weather. It stormed heavily, especially in the evening. And I put, we had a heavy storm. Okay, because to storm is a slightly different, it's, it is a verb, but not with the meaning that April thought. So again, you know, you go to the weather and you can talk about the weather that's happening now, that happened yesterday, that might be happening tomorrow, the weather forecast. So you can also practice your tenses that way. Okay. And if, if you're more advanced than that, go to your writing and you'll find lots of help there okay and not just me there Gemma helps out there as well okay so um, pop in and if we don't get around to correcting it straight away just remind us make sure we haven't missed it give us the link that kind of thing okay and then of course there's the let's practice section okay the whole section let's practice and learn um, you can write short sentences 
and um, we will try our best to do to correct your sentence or we'll let you know if we don't understand what you're trying to say. That sometimes does happen. If you see the dreaded question, 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 it means I don't know what you mean. <laughs> okay? But there's lots of chances for you to get this feedback and corrections, okay? And as I say, the groups are kind of special. Uh, some of you are here maybe for the first time because I went into Skype and I gave you the link directly. That only happens for TGIF because TGIF was very popular in Skype and now it's on Webinar Jam. Um, but you'll find the Skypers group there, Virtual Worlders group, which is Kitely, uh, English Radio group, which is um, English Radio, <laughs> and Join Us for Webinars, which has all these um, sessions in it. And also polyglots. Now, what's polyglot? Polyglot yeah. is something that speaks more than two languages, strictly speaking. But more than two people, languages. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you're bilingual, okay? Bilingual, two languages. Polyglot, multiple languages. But don't panic. Um, what we're doing, and if you want to see my German, by the way, uh, you can. There you go. The post goes in, in the language that you're learning. I'm learning German, okay? And then here we've got me translating the German into English and then somebody else who speaks fluent German helping me with the translation, okay? So it's my, it was a, a way for me to practice my German a little bit. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I'm not a 100% fan of translating to learn, but once you've learned, translation can help you uh, enhance your skills. So if your English is advanced and you would like to it's, either... It's better help than uh, Google Translate. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's human translation. <laughs> human really, translation, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's, not, it's not for you to get the translation of something. It's for you to practice translating into English if you speak, if you're learning English, but also to help other people who might be trying to translate and learn into your language. That's the main reason behind the polyglot, so that you can help somebody with their Italian or their French, okay? Okay, um, Namiri sent a message and said, well, how about your holly days? Holly is a plant. Okay, it's a prickly plant, usually at Christmas. Uh, holidays, H-O-L-I-D-A-Y-S. You mean when I was in the UK? Oh, it was very, um, yeah, it, it wasn't strictly speaking a holiday. It was, um, we had to go to the UK, okay? So I wouldn't say it was fun. I'll put it that way, okay? <laughs> but it's nice to be back. <laughs> Thank you for asking, though, Namiri. Thank you for asking. Yeah, Holly, if you just uh, Google, um, go to Google Images. By the way, that squeaking you can hear, that's my dog. Yeah, and if like... Zom ever watches this, <laughs> yeah, that's like her with the squeaky toy that Zom gave her for Christmas. <laughs> Zom will be delighted because that's why she gave her this toy to annoy me. <laughs> But it's Friday, I don't care. Normally I'd ask her to leave, put her in another room. But it's Friday, anything's allowed. Um, if you want to check, actually, what a word means, go to Google Images, put safe search on. <laughs> I cannot stress enough how important if you search Google on images to have safe search. And then just type in Holly. Okay. And there you have it, that's Holly. It's a very Christmassy plant. It's, it goes into our um, houses at Christmas as part of um, the sort of decorating. Yeah, the holly and the ivy. It's a famous Christmas song as well. But that's a holly bush there. And birds, oh, and there's holly, you see? <laughs> Somebody called holly just turns up. <laughs> but that's the holly uh, that comes to my head, comes into my mind when, when I hear the word holly, okay? Oh, it's so funny. Oh, no, you don't want to see that one. There you go. 
That was the admin page, by the way. When you ask a question, that's where it appears. Uh, thank you for telling me. I was afraid my headphones... Ah, headphones. If they're the... You've got two earpieces, then they're plural. A bit like glasses and trousers. So we say headphones are busted or my headphones were busted. Okay. In fact, bust rather than busted. Um, I thought they were broken. In fact, would probably be better. <laughs> or kaput. Yeah, it's a German word, but we use it in English. <laughs> Let me close some of these um, tabs down. I'm going to crash otherwise. A Macintosh operating system as well. Oh my goodness, look at this lot. Okay, so I'll stop screen sharing, which means I will disappear for a second. And I'm back in the room. Excellent. <laughs> so I'm just looking uh, to see if there have been any questions, but everybody's being very... Um, very good. No questions at all. Wow, I'm amazed. And my hubby is home after two weeks in America. So I hope you don't mind if I slope off. I mean, I'm not sloping off early strictly because the calendar always says an hour. Normally, TGIF runs for longer, especially if more people are able to join us in the room, but it doesn't seem to have happened or worked this week. Um, but Aladdin, would you mind carrying on the session or do you need to go as well? Anyway, if, if, if people want to, to ask about something, but I, do you like mathematics, Len? I can't answer, for example, for these questions. Nashi, <laughs> <laughs> what's not to like? What's not do you like? want to Everybody learn mathematics? <laughs> do, do, do you want to learn how to memorize the multiplications table? Maybe? <laughs> Multiplication. Multiplications. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, we had we had to do that at school. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, pretty much 12 and 12, 144. Doesn't mean I'm good at maths, though. It just means I can remember <laughs> sums. Uh, there's a difference between maths and sums and mathematics even, and arithmetic as well. Um, yeah, what's not to like, Raja? Of course I like mathematics, but I'm not good at it, okay? I, I could do calculus. Um, I kind of like the calculus because it's like problem solving. Uh, but when it comes to matrices, <laughs> And, you know, if you want to be a good programmer, I think you, you'd agree. You've got to understand matrices. Well, matrices have never yeah. made sense to my head. I ever. Love I know. <laughs> I know. And my friends at university loved them. And they found it hilarious that, you know, as a reasonably intelligent human being, my brain goes into meltdown. I can understand the principle, but I can't apply it in any meaningful manner. So even though I was very good at, creating databases and my HTML skills are pretty hot, but no, don't ask me to program anything that involves matrices. I'm not doing it. No way, Jose. <laughs> oh, you see, Raja, that's not fair. Okay, Raja, English pronunciation is really easy. <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> You got the, the point here. <laughs> okay, well, Raja, Raja is, um, I think, volunteering to do a session on matrices. Yeah. <laughs> a presentation, yeah. Why not? Go for it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not joking. You know, <laughs> I'm writing it down. I'll I'll remind you in a while. Say, so, oh, Raja, have you prepared that presentation on matrices for us? <laughs> You said it was so easy. No, actually, joking aside, um, I mentioned it earlier. I don't think everybody was in the room when I said it. If you want to present and um, do that like I just did screen sharing, have a look at some of the other sessions, for example, on um, Thursdays. And it's short, you'll like it, about 25 minutes long. Thursday's absolute beginner's session. I used a couple of little presentation tools um, that can really help your presentation skills. Um, and 
if you you have to do preparation, of course, um, but um, they can help you to present information. So we have done it in the past, even if it's just your holiday snaps or um, your hometown or somewhere you like. Uh, if you want to practice giving a presentation, ask me on the forum. We can organize it. We can book you into the session, give you a bit of training on how to screen share and um, yeah, go for it. Ah, oh, why not? Excellent. Get in touch on the forum, Raja, and uh, we'll organise it. You'll have to do it in a fun and informative way, though. I don't want a mathematics class. It's got to be a presentation on why matrices are easy. <laughs> creative things. We, lo we love creative ideas. Well, creative ideas, but something that's not too... Yeah, if, you could, if you could see it on YouTube, um, it's... I think, you know, I'll just send somebody to a YouTube video. But if there's something, a spin you can put on it and prove to us that you prove to me that matrices are easy, then put together a presentation, 30 minutes long, maximum 30 minutes, and um, go for it. Yeah. Okay, great. I will look forward to your private, do it in a private message or start a, start a thread in um, chat in the um main part of the forum, just under uh, the, uh, what's it called? Chats, Ch -ch -ch. chit chat, yeah. Oh, by the way, everybody, I just want to check with you. Have you met our little friend on the forum? Let me do a quick screen share and then I am definitely going to go and spend some time with my hubby. So hang on. No, I, I'm, I don't like Zen. <laughs> <laughs> She's bothering okay, me a I'm lot. I'm just going to. <laughs> Hang on, where is she? Ah, uh, Google. Something else. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd spot that. <laughs> That's voice meter. Okay, it just monitors that my voice is working. So if somebody says I can't hear you, I can look at that and I can think, ah, it's, actually, it's working. It's not, you know, not my, not my problem. <laughs> so when you go to the forum, have you met our new little friend? Yeah. Here she comes. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you add some sitting on it? It's to, to, to appear to people the first time here or maybe i'd love to that was the idea <laughs> to be honest Saladin, that was the idea I'm, <laughs> it suddenly happened when i am I, you know i i didn't open one tabs or one one single page i'm it might be i am open 10 or five pages at once so i go back uh, for each one separate so i suddenly came with her voice with multiple, multiple things, <laughs> they are. She is speaking at the same times, ten, ten times, <laughs> ten, ten times, ten pages at the same times. <sighs> okay, I say. You know you can mute me, don't you? Don't, and you can turn her over, off. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, you go to every page and mute her, mute her, mute her. It's, it's uh, okay, so I'm it's, working it's on only, one page. Okay, so if I refresh this page now, okay, yeah, watch. it's not a beard now. It doesn't appear. However, if you open a new page, yeah, so a new tab, open yeah. activity, yeah. a new tab, yeah, then... it's <laughs> Gee, she's not she, a she, sorry, sorry. There she is. Hello, Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> no, the idea was that it would only appear. She would only appear she. to new people, to not, people who weren't members. However, I haven't figured out how to enforce that yet. I'm going to have a word with Vanilla. Um, I, I don't want her appearing every time I open the forum either. But uh, so she will disappear at some point. However, you will be able to meet her and her friends. Um, I think, oh, where have I already um, put her one. in? No, 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 no. Only one on the forum. Friend? But oh yeah, yeah she's them. got a friend. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I think here. I've just got to wait a bit, see if it's this one. It's noodling. Noodle noodle noodle. Hello. There she is. My name is Lynn. 
welcome to lesson one. Really? It's uh-huh. your voice. Yeah. I think th- this one is good. <laughs> Why it's van- on vanilla or on the forum? It's not okay. Really well, <laughs> the, if you go to the front page of the lessons, she doesn't appear. Now that's because I've got full control of the HTML on the, on the lessons. Okay. But the forum, it's run through, you know, database. It's a forum. It's much more complex than HTML pages. So, um, when I was trying to add our little friends, <laughs> Um, I suddenly realized I don't have the permissions to go in and say, if this person hasn't logged in or isn't logged in, um, then play this video. Okay. Um, I don't have that control. Whereas I do on the lessons, I can go and say, okay, I want this video to play on this lesson. And I want this next one to play on the next lesson. So these people are going to crop up across the network slowly. But the one on the forum was a bit of an experiment, a bit of a failed experiment. I was also interested to see who'd notice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pratik, my goodness, I've just seen your post. I've lost all my 16 jobs in human resources because, uh, oh, right, you mean in interviews. I thought you meant you'd had 16 jobs and then lost them. Gosh. Um, okay, in interviews, in HR round, yeah, because you have bad speaking skills. Uh, I think that sometimes they just use it as an excuse because with enough practice, your speaking skills will improve. So just keep going. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. It's their loss. The last interview, yes. You remind me. The last interview, it was, uh, I was in, yes, last week I was in it. So they they asked me, brand yourself. I said, what? How to brand myself? I'm not a salesperson. Come on. <laughs> and they are I laughing when I said that. that. <laughs> Good. To, to, to brand myself. I'm not a product. You should they have said, said I, no. <laughs> you said I'm not a cow. But you have to answer <laughs> you it. You brand cattle, you know. <laughs> I hate this. The thing is, this is partly the internet's fault, by the way. There were companies that considered themselves very groovy who would come and Cambridge University as well, um, Cambridge, Oxford and Cambridge universities. They came up with these bizarre things like uh, describe the inside of a, t- a ping pong ball. You know, it was to see if people could just think on their feet kind of thing and not get faced by a question that they weren't because ex- people train for interviews. And if you train enough, then you you know it gets you've got pat question pat answers to all the questions doesn't really show what you're like so but a lot of people are using these now without actually the skill to decipher what the person is saying and how the person reacts they're just expecting witty replies from everybody and i think they're doing themselves a big disservice because they're losing out on good people who would be able to do the job well but don't want to brand themselves, as you say, Alan. <laughs> I myself, hate it personally. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, on that note, I am going to love you and leave you. Have a great rest of your weekend or weekend or working week, whichever work, whichever fits for you. And I will see you next week. I'll be around on the forum. Don't be shy. If you've got a problem or a question, Thank just you, send me a private message, post in the forum, <laughs> mention me, do the at thing, remember. I'll just stop screen sharing. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. So if you just do at Lynn on the forum, I get a little notification. And if I don't notice it, um, just send me a private message. You'll see it under my thing. I don't mind, honestly. And um, don't expect instant replies, though. Okay, I am one. I am one. I'm not online (laughs) twenty-four-seven. Can't think of anything worse. I love the internet, but I don't want to live on it. Um, And don't be a stranger. We'll see you in the next time. Okay. Take care. Bye. And thank you, Aladdin, for joining me. Thank you. That was so nice. It worked. Otherwise, I'd have been very paranoid. Bye, bye. And don't forget Aladdin's session on Monday as well. And tomorrow, what are you doing tomorrow, Aladdin? Yeah, tomorrow's a drama session. Yay! Oh, that yes. is so cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the one I always listen to the whole thing. I love it. I love it. Um, Aladdin's drama session on Webinar Jam. 
okay and um, even if you just tune in to listen it is a hoot it's really good <laughs> bye take care uh what about kite lee okay pratik you were exploring yeah so you managed to get in and walk around a bit so all you have to do is look at the calendar for example an hour before this session started i was in kite lee with uh, mohit and shiny and we ran a session together we had a session together. So it's just like going to any other session. Check the calendar. When you see Kitely session, and there's one Monday to Friday, there's one at different times, Monday to Friday, just log in. And then when you're there, uh, we'll no normally notice you've logged in for the first time. We'll add you to the LEN group and then you can find us. Okay. Um, but um, I can show you how to use the map, etc. I did log in early today as well, just in case somebody turned up because there's you and um, uh, Ahmed who wants to join us. But nobody came, so I went off to the laboratory and ran the session. Okay, But when the session's running, you do need to find me because that's a big sim. And sometimes we're not even on that sim. So the next time there's a session, maybe let me know if you're coming. I'll keep an eye open for you. Once you remember of the LEN group in Kitely. And once you're in contact with me, you'll be able to send me private messages and just say, can I get a teleport or where are you? <laughs> are you here? And you'll see when I'm online then. So it gets easier, but you have to make that first contact with me. Okay. Okay. So don't be shy. As I said, just join next time I'm in world. I might be in world this weekend. So if you've got some free time, private message me, tell me when you're around. And um, I might not be able to, but if I can, I will join you and we can just do the um, contact bit. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Take care, everybody. I'm going to um, hang up now. Bye.